Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. If this is your first time here, please go down and click subscribe. If you're a return viewer or subscriber, thank you very much. I do appreciate each and every one of you. If you need IT consulting, please go to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. If we can't help you, we'll get you to someone who can. That's our promise to you. In this quick video, we're going to talk about some of the differences between Unify 5, dot 14.23 and 6.0.23. So let's hop on over to these new installations and check it out. All right, so here we've got two brand new pristine installations of Unify. I don't have any gear uh, adopted to either one of these yet. We are gonna do that at some point so we can see some of the other differences, but you can see that this is Unify 5.14.23, which is the last release in the 14 line. And then over here we have 6.0.23, which is the latest in the 6 line as of the 12th when I installed these VMs. So, and when I logged into 5.14.23, I did get the message that 6.0.23 is available so just a couple of the quick differences here that you're going to notice right off the bat first thing is 5.14.23 you can see over here on the left hand side you've got your dashboard statistics map devices clients insights down here you've got events alerts help center and then settings and if we flip over here to 6.0.23 you can see the icons are different they're a little bit uh that newer looking and then you've got map devices clients statistics insights events alerts help center settings and then just a little dash down here so they they did a little bit of changing on the front of this now if you're running this on a udm it does look different there's a new there's a new dashboard so udm users look out for that all right, so one of the big things that I want to talk about right off the bat is the way that VLANs are handled. So here's our 5.14.23. We're going to go to settings, and we're going to go over here to networks, and everything looks you know, like we're used to. So we're going to create a new network, and we're just actually going to create a VLAN only, and I'm just going to call this guest. And we're going to make it VLAN 2. And we'll save that. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Let's hop over here to 6.0.23. Let's do the same thing. So we're going to go to networks. And we're going to create a new network. And we're going to call it a VLAN only. And we're going to call it guest. And we'll call it VLAN 2. Or number it VLAN 2. All right, so this is all looking pretty much the same so far. Well, here is where things get a little different for those of you who haven't uh, upgraded to 6.0.23 yet. Right now, there's nothing wrong with 5.14.23, so I wouldn't feel rushed to upgrade unless Ubiquity comes out with some sort of huge security problem with this. So um, there are people also that are running 6.0.23, and it's working fine at this point. So anyway, back to this. So here's where one of the big differences is. When we go to wireless networks, and... You can see I've just got the default network that it makes me makes me set up. Um, one of the things that you're going to see, I guess a couple of the differences you're going to see right away, is right here we have the combined name. We have the VLAN over here under the 6.0.23. You do not have that combined name. And we're going to look at this. So real quick, let's say that we now want to go ahead and use that guest VLAN that we create and it doesn't matter whether we create it as a network or a VLAN only it's going to act the same so over here we can create a, a new wireless network and call it guest and we can tag it guest that's fine doesn't really matter but here under 5.14.23 we go to advanced options we check use vlan and we put in our vlan id nice and easy so we can put any vlan id we want in there this makes sense to people vlan 2 this all looks good right let's hop over to 6.0.23 let's create a new wireless network and we're going to call this guest and it's going to be a guest policy then right here under advanced options um, First of all, 
there's no VLAN. The VLAN has moved, right? They've now moved that over to this network. So you can't just enter a VLAN number for an SSID. You have to create it as a network, even it, uh, if it's a VLAN only, and then select it here. And then that will tag this SSID as VLAN too. Also right here, here's your Wi-Fi band selector now instead of combining them. And then apparently we can break it out with uh, broadcasting APs here. So we're going to go ahead and save that. We're going to get into some of these other changes, but then here's one of the other confusing things, right? So now on 6.0.23, we've got our guest network. They haven't cleaned this part of the UI up yet. And so we still have this VLAN thing hanging out here, but it doesn't tell us what network this guest is part of. So by looking at this right here, just this cursory look, I get less information. So it's a little bit more confusing. So you've got to take an extra step to check it out here. There's, uh, there's other changes that we're going to get into, but these are a couple of the changes that I wanted to bring to your attention right away as I am getting a lot of questions about these. All right, that's it for this video. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. If you need IT consulting, go to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. If you'd like to support the channel by using our Amazon affiliate links or other affiliate links, they are down below. Don't feel pressured to do that, but they do kick a couple bucks over to the channel when they are used. Once again, I want to thank you all for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.